How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Rogue software for the new Pocket Go. I'm also going to show you how to install updates and a few emulators. So the Rogue software is the same software used in the RG350, but it's been modified to support the new Pocket Go. The Rogue software includes a lot of key combinations using the power button. For example, you can adjust the screen brightness, you can sleep the screen, and you can also restart the device. The new Pocket Go comes pre-installed with a 16 gigabyte SD card, but I highly recommend that you buy a separate micro SD card for this. We're gonna set this up by installing the firmware and emulators on the main SD card and have our ROMs on a separate SD card. You're more than welcome to use the micro SD card that came with your Pocket Go, but again, I highly recommend that you use a separate card. From here, we're gonna move over to my computer so we can download the firmware and other required software. Okay, so we're on the PC and I have my micro SD card plugged in and links to everything we're gonna download will be in the description box. Okay, so the first thing we need to get is the firmware. This is the base firmware at 1.0 and you can download it from this GitHub page. Next, you're gonna to need to download the firmware updates. Now there are two of them and I suggest that you do them in sequential order. Next, you're gonna to need to download and install Etcher. Next, we need to download some emulators. Now, I'm not gonna show you every single emulator that comes pre-installed with the Pocket Go, but I will download a emulator for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, SNES, NES, and Sega. Okay, so to recap, we have the base firmware, we have the updates, we have Etcher to write the software, and we have some OPKs. At this point, you should install Etcher and plug in your micro SD card. We're gonna open Etcher, and then we're gonna select the image. Click flash and give it a few minutes to write the image to the SD card. Once it's done, we're gonna remove the SD card and set it aside. From here, we wanna take our second micro SD card and insert it into our computer. We need to format the card in FAT32. Once it's finished, we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it apps, all lowercase. Inside the apps folder, we're gonna insert all of our OPKs and the firmware updates. And finally, we're gonna move all of our ROMs onto the SD card. Okay, everything is copied over, so we're gonna move from our computer to the Pocket Go. Okay, so we have the Pocket Go and both of our micro SD cards. We're gonna insert the SD card with the base image in the left slot and the second SD card in the right slot. From here, we're gonna power on the system. You'll see the splash screen for a few seconds, and then you'll see an install screen. It's gonna resize the partition of the SD card and install the firmware. This will take a few minutes depending on the size and speed of your micro SD card. Once it's done, you'll be greeted to the home screen, and you can scroll using the left and right triggers. If you scroll over to emulators, you'll see that PCSX for all is already installed. You should also see all of the emulators stored on your second micro SD card. If you want, you can leave this how it is, but I would suggest that you move all of your emulators onto your main SD card. I'll show you how to move the emulators to the main SD card, but first we're gonna install the firmware update. So we're gonna move over to applications and we're gonna scroll down until we find OS update 1.01. .01. We're gonna press A and then we're gonna scroll over to update and click start. Once the update is complete, you're gonna hit start again to reboot the system. From here, we're going to scroll back over to applications, and this time we're gonna install the 1.0.2 update. Same process, hit A, 
click start to install the update and then let it reboot. So now that we are fully updated, I can show you how to copy over your emulators to your main SD card. So we want to scroll back over to applications and open up Ding UX Commander. We have two columns, one for the SD card on the left and the other one on the right. The first thing we want to do is move over our emulators. To do this, we need to find the apps folder on our SD card on the left. So we're just going to hit B until we see a list of files and we need to find the media file. We're going to open the media file and then we're going to click data. And then from data, we're going to click apps. Here you'll see a list of already installed OPKs in the firmware. From here, we need to find our OPKs on our second micro SD card. So again, we're going to scroll over. We're going to hit B until we see the media file. And then you'll see the name of our SD card untitled at the bottom. Then we're going to click apps. And then you'll see the emulator stored on the SD card. From here, we're going to press Y to select all. And then we're going to hit X to move over the emulators onto our main SD card. Once it's done, you have the option to move over your ROMs and it works the same way. However, in this video, I'm just going to leave them on the second SD card. We're going to close Ding UX Commander by holding the power and select button. When you scroll over to emulators, you might see each emulator twice. I'm not sure why it does this, but the system is reading emulators on both SD cards. You can get rid of this by deleting the OPK files on the secondary SD card. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install the Rogue software on the new Pocket Go. I try to keep these instructional videos short and to the point. So if I miss something or if you have any questions about the Rogue software, let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe to the review suite. I'm Jason, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.